and stand against hate. People around the world unite following the massacre in New Zealand. The vigils here at home and the latest on the investigation. News for New York at 6 starts now. The families of the 50 people killed in the New Zealand mosque attacks are still waiting for the bodies of their loved ones tonight. Meanwhile, tributes and memorials are growing worldwide. In fact, a moment of silence was just held about an hour ago in Upper Manhattan. New York leaders gathering there at Bennett Park to stand in solidarity for the victims of the attacks. News 4's Drew Wilder has more on the remembrances. Hundreds of people marching through Booton, New Jersey Sunday in solidarity for the 50 people killed in Friday's attack on two New Zealand mosques, carrying signs and a message of love. Yeah, actually, I'm really surprised. I'm really happy. I mean, this old sport we're getting. And a similar event in Jamaica, Queens. We are not divided. Rakaia Akhtir runs an interfaith religious group for women. Friday's massacre hitting home for her sisterhood. One of our sister's cousin was one of the victims. First cousin, 39 years old, left behind two kids. Imam Shamsi Ali welcomed us inside the Jamaica Muslim Center and says he's heartbroken but not hopeless. We are Americans. We love this country. We have loyalty to this country. We are Americans. We are here to contribute. You know, this is a nation of immigrants. And from Queens to New Zealand, memorials are growing for the people killed, flowers covering the streets and in court. 28-year-old Brenton Tarrant made his first appearance with his face blurred per New Zealand law. He'll likely face multiple counts of murder. At this moment, only one person has been charged in relation to these attacks. There are still dozens of people recovering from injuries, and New Zealand's prime minister making a promise the country's gun laws will change. Drew Wilder, News 4 New York.